Hello, my name is Mark Stephen Wade, and I am an avid photographer, and I hope you are too. I just wanted to drop a quick note to remind everybody that we are headed toward full knowledge of photography skills on the technical side. Those, those technical skills will apply to portraits, landscape, bird photography, and all sorts of whatever you can think of. And just as a note, these dreamscapes that you're looking at are my forte. I developed those early on in my journey using the camera. It's something that I practice year after year after year and learn that with multiple exposure photography and with the other capabilities of the camera, there's really not a lot of limit to what we can do. This is the type of photography that I'm looking to show you. It's a, something that, it is a love that you have of seeing something, developing a picture of it in your own mind, knowing what the camera can do. I mean, understand this, you can turn up the sun, you can turn down the sunlight within your photograph. That is very powerful, that is just the beginning. So we're going to journey into this, this realm of photography. And I'm going to show you step by step how to get into the thinking process of a photographer. Uh, we're just now starting. We have the basics down. Now we're going to get to, we're going to start deep diving into what those mean. We're going, to, we're going to develop some exercises for you to do to show you what they mean on the final output and what that means in your final analysis of the frame that you're going to. Now, I've been making photographs for a lot of years, and I just want to bring that knowledge to the masses and just let you know the things that you can do within your camera to change the way the look of the final photograph is going to look like and why that's going to set you apart from everybody else. One of the first things that I haven't talked about yet, and I should have, is that we need to get into manual mode to learn the camera and how it works. That is one of the first things you need to do before you get into the basics. It's important to do that. And when you become proficient at photography, you don't necessarily have to stay in manual mode. In fact, most people get out of that manual mode. Sometimes they use uh, shutter priority or, or aperture priority, depending on, on what the situation calls for. But it's important to understand how your camera works and what you can do to make it do whatever you want it to do. And that's what we're looking to do here. So thank you for listening, and uh, we'll see you later.